Now, heads up drivers in the district, come July, you won't be able to turn right on red at 100 more intersections across the city. The change, we're told, is for pedestrian safety, but AAA says the change means even more danger for pedestrians. John Gonzalez with why they say the move could backfire. New year, new law. Soon you will see D.C. road crews installing no right turn on red signs at 100 intersections in the busiest sections of the nation's capital. I think for a safety perspective, it makes the most sense. Um, I've actually got a ticket before for like turning right on red. But now traffic engineers and AAA Mid-Atlantic warn this change will actually worsen traffic safety and create more gridlock. The street lights aren't timed, so sometimes they take a really, really long time. The change is occurring in the central business district, in and around school zones, and areas with high pedestrian and cyclist volume. The idea is to reduce crashes, especially involving those on bikes and walking. You'll create more crashes because you'll create more rear-end collisions, and you'll probably create more conflicts with pedestrians because you're turning on green, while the pedestrian has the crosswalk. PDOT says the intersections were identified, like this one here, 11th and U in the Shaw neighborhood, based on crash history and how crowded they are. Yet some worry this new rule will create even more rule breaking. For example, someone speeding up, trying to beat the yellow. According to stats from D.C. police, 107,353 traffic crashes occurred in the district from 2013 to 15, yet making a right turn on red was a factor in only 55 of them. I don't think that that's fair because people are accustomed to making a right on red for many years. As a D.C. resident, I'm used to making a right on red. In Northwest Washington, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News. Mm -hmm.